I'm back, baby. My family's healthy, my new daughter is healthy. I'm so, so thankful, and I'm ready to crank out some aviation content, so let's do this. I just upgraded my iPad mini 4 that I use in the cockpit to an iPad mini 6, which is awesome, except found out that the Flyboy's case that I love wasn't compatible with the 6th generation. Crap. But they released a new version for the 6th generation that actually made some pretty cool updates. And I'm gonna tell you what I really love about this new case. Also gonna tell you something I don't really, really love. But all in all, it's a really great product. And if you're upgrading your iPad existence in the cockpit, like mm -hmm. I just, cockpit? <laughs> cockpit like I just did, I think you need to know about this thing. Now, if you haven't seen my previous video on Flyboy's cases, I'll link it up in the corner and down in the description, but really the short version could be summed up by this one point. The iPad case itself is actually built for the mount. Basically, this is an all-in-one solution that protects your iPad in a sturdy case that never needs to come off. And then it can snap into a variety of different mounting options in the airplane, including suction mounts, yoke mounts, knee boards, and more. You just get in the airplane, snap the case onto the mount, hear that satisfying click, and you're locked in. Then when you're done, unlock it, pull it out, and you're on your way. I just love that you're not having to look for the perfect case and then the perfect mount and see if they work together and then they don't and you buy three times as much as you need. No, I really like how they've solved this problem. It's an all-in-one solution and I really love their products. Now I've got a 10% discount code down in the description, but before you hop over to their website to check it out, let me tell you some of the big features I think that they added to the new case. And also tell you the one thing I don't love as much, but I still really love this case. I still use it, still recommend it. The first big improvement is that the cover now folds into the actual case. So that way you don't have two separate pieces laying around. The old one had a nice cover that would snap in and it worked really well, but when you weren't using the cover, it was actually detached. So I'd usually throw it in the back of the airplane or throw it in my bag or something, which usually just amounted to me just never using the cover because I always just kept it off. And when you're on trips with your iPad and it's an integral part of your flight bag, leaving your iPad unprotected is just not worth it. So in the new case, you can see that this is all one piece. And instead of having to throw the cover in the back, you actually just take it out of the cover. It's kind of hard to do on camera here. Flip it over, push it back into the case snaps, get that little satisfying click, and now you're ready to put it into whatever mounting system you have. Like I have a suction mount here that I use in the airplane and so you're ready to go. And then when you're finished with it, you just reverse the process, flip it back over, push it uh, back into the case, and the cover is back on it. I think this is a really nice upgrade. It really just ensures that your iPad is always covered. The second upgrade I really like is that the kickstand here, <laughs> I'm sure there's a technical term for it. Kickstand, it's actually just uh, integrated into the case itself, so it's always with you. In the previous version, you had basically that same functionality but it was part of the cover. The cover would flip down and you could use it as a stand. The problem was, again, going back to the first point, if you didn't have that cover on there to begin with because you threw it in the back of the airplane, then you don't have it as the stand. But now that it's all one piece, it's always with you so you can stand it up. It'd be easy to like walk into the FBO, forget the cover on this old one and be like, oh man, I can't really stand it up on the table if I'm trying to do flight planning or whatnot. Uh, you don't have that problem with the next generation because it's all one piece. And then they also left room for an iPad pencil to still be able to snap to the iPad even when you're using the case. Now, I I don't personally use one of these, but I know some people that do and swear by them. So it's a nice feature if you're wanting to carry around your Apple Pencil. Only thing I don't really love about this new case is, and this is a little OCD of me, is that it's a little bit less symmetrical. And I realize that there's reasons uh, for you know it being designed the way it is, but there was something about the last case that I just really appreciated, how it was just nice and it was a, a nice little rectangle there. You know, it's very, uh, very Apple and iPhone-esque, right? Just to have a nice rectangle. And on this one, let me show some footage. It's gonna be hard on camera. You just got, you know, some corners hanging out and stuff and uh, it's for usability features and different things but to me I, I don't know it feels like a little futuristic and I'm a little bit more of a less is a little bit more of a little bit more of a less is more kind of guy, but it doesn't take away from the usability of the case. And as I've discussed, I think they really created some cool new features that upped the usability and the functionality of the case. So I can look past it. But if I'm being totally honest, that's one thing I don't love as much about this new version, but it's still not a reason to buy the case. I still really like it. So if you want to get the same case I have, and they also have much cooler colors than just black, I will put a link down in the description. If you use that link, you'll automatically get 10% off of your order. You can also use the promo code Charlie. Uh, uh, but if you click the link below, it'll automatically apply that. So that's a lot easier to suggest doing that. But before you do that, there are two really, really important things you need to know before you click the link. First, the case I'm describing here works with the iPad mini six. If you have a previous generation, make sure to check out their other cases as they clearly say in the description, which models each case will work with. They also have cases for full size iPads too. And the second thing is in addition to the case, you're also gonna need a mounting solution. Now, if you've already bought one of these products in the past, this mount works just the same, works perfectly well with the new cases. But if if you're new to this brand, the genius behind their design is that this case is specifically built for their mounts. 
all of their mounts come with this plastic uh, plate, and that's what slides into the back of the case to lock in. So whether you're using a kneeboard or this is a single suction mount, they have a bunch of different types of mounts, yoke mounts and things. They will all end up with this plate. And if you have a RAM mount, for example, they sell an adapter to where you can still use this plate. So if you click on my link in the description, you'll see the case, but then if you scroll down on the page, you'll also see some bundling options, and you can add the suction mount to it. You can still add those to carts separately if you want to browse around, add you know a different type of mounting solution. But for simplicity's sake, clicking on the bundle is the quickest way to get the exact same setup that I have. And one more quick thing I want to address. No, Flyboys is not a sponsor of this channel. In fact, I don't even have sponsors of the channel. This is a product I genuinely recommend. I genuinely use it, and so buy it, don't buy it, uh, but I hope that this information is helpful to you in your aviation journey so you can make an informed purchase decision, whether it's this case or many others out there on the market. But this is the one I use and I really like it. Don't forget, you can get 10% off by clicking the link down in the description. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. I'd be glad to help.